Hey, how's it going, fellow traders? So I just want to record this video about our quadruple reaching to explain to you more about what's happening in the market currently. Okay, so this is also an excellent way for you to learn more about um, how the market works and also to watch out for the next uh, quadruple reaching. Okay, so this week has been really tough to trade uh, because this Friday will be the third Friday of uh, June. Okay, and Today is 18 of June, so tomorrow is 19 of June. That will be when the quadruple witching will happen. Okay, so if you're not familiar with the term uh, quadruple witching, right, you can see over here that it just means that you have all the uh, stock indexes, you have stock options, and the futures, they are all expiring uh, tomorrow. Okay, so this is very important because all the instruments are expiring tomorrow. And uh, if you know how uh, options work, uh, if price expires, uh, below a certain level, then the uh, option is worthless. Okay, so I'll go into the charts. I want to show you, uh, you know, just give you a brief introduction about uh, how uh, options work, right? Just to educate you about um, why the market is what it is, right? It's not going anywhere, right? Uh, there's a lot of fake outs and there's no concrete movements, right? Because tomorrow is a uh, quadruple witching. Okay, so let's go into the charts. So you can see over here that uh, I'm just using uh, the euro dollars as an example. Okay, so let's talk about uh, options. Okay, let's talk about options. Okay, so suppose, um, you know, uh, I, I have a option over here. Okay, there are two kinds of options. Let's say that, uh, let's say I do a call option. Okay, so in short, call option means that uh, if you do a call option over here, and price expires anything above, okay, then uh, your option will expire uh, with, with value, meaning that uh, you will be in the money, okay, the term is called in the money, meaning that uh, you would have made a profit, okay, but if let's say the option expires uh, below, meaning price is below this level that I bought, then uh, my uh, option will be worthless, okay, so technically I lose the premium means the cost that I paid to acquire the option, right? The uh, option is just kind of like a, um, you know, a, a choice to whether you wish to execute it. So of course, if price is higher, uh, you execute it. If price is lower, you don't want to execute it. So if price is lower on expiration date, then uh, what happens is that the option is worthless. Okay. So the same thing is also for a put. Put option is just the opposite. So let's say I do a put option over here, okay? And uh, you know, during expiration date, when it expires, it expires here. Then I'll be in the money, right? Because I, my option is here, put is kind of like selling, right? You just think of it as like call is kind of like buying and a put is kind of like selling, okay? So if price is below, then I will, the, the option will expire in the money and I, I'll make a profit. But if let's say the uh, options, the, the, the put option expires somewhere here, means price is somewhere here uh, upon expiration date. Uh, that means I would lose money. So I'll lose the premium that I paid for the put option. Okay, so that's a very uh, layman introduction to coin put options. But let's talk about why you know, this results in this kind of movement where you know, price really goes nowhere. Okay, it's because during quadruple reaching day, sorry, let me just adjust this. During quadruple reaching day, uh, a lot of market makers, they are trying to get the uh, option. Just a moment, I don't know why this keeps moving. Just a moment. Okay, yes. So during uh, expiration date, the market makers are trying to just push price, you know, slightly below the level. Okay, so let's say that this level over here has the most uh, number of uh, buyers, of course. So uh, like a lot of people buy calls at this level. What the market makers are trying to do is that they are trying to push price just slightly below this level so that the options expire worthless. Okay, so ho ho hopefully that makes sense to you, right? The brokers uh, don't want the uh, retail traders or you know other people who bought the call option at this price to uh to be in profit. So they push it down just before the uh, news uh just before the option expires and after the you know the the option expires worthless, then they start, uh, you know, buying it up, okay? So in a sense, they are trying to whip out uh, all these uh, option buyers, right? People who bought a call option, okay? Of course, uh, this doesn't apply to this uh, euro dollar because uh, 
this euro dollar is a spot market. This is not a futures contract, uh, but there are euro uh, futures contract. So uh, this is just the uh, you know explanation. So you can see over here that you have this euro FX futures. So something like this. Okay, the, the contract is going to expire. And because you, the contract is going to expire, uh, the market makers are very, you know, cunning in that sense. They just want to push price uh, up or down, slightly above or slightly below the uh, important level that a lot of uh, traders bought their call or put option. Okay, so that's the basic understanding. And that's also why it's super difficult to trade, right? Because price is not going to go anywhere. It's going to be very rippy. And it's just going to park at that level, you know, move up, move down, move up, move down. And uh, it's not going to move much for this week. Okay, so again, today is the 18th of June. This uh, quadruple witching is going to happen tomorrow because it's the third Friday of June. Okay, it will happen uh, four times a year. So you can see over here, it will happen in March, June, September, and December. Okay, so you want to be cautious about this. This kind of weeks, right, are weeks that uh, you want to avoid trading as much as possible because of uh, what I just explained. Okay. So uh, hopefully this clarifies uh, you know, your understanding about why the market is not moving, right? So I hope if you are trading on your own, I hope that uh, you manage your risk well, okay? The best is not to trade, but I mean, I can't control what you do in the market. It's your account, it's your own, you know, trading. But I just give you some advice that uh, it's better not to trade, right? It's better to wait it out, right? I'm quite sure that uh, next week the movement will be much cleaner, okay? Uh, because after this quadruple reaching and, uh, you know, all the market makers have... Uh, whip out all the calls and puts at the important levels, then uh, you'll see some nice movement, right? So conserve your capital and next week, uh, we should have ourselves some very nice movement and hopefully, uh, we're able to make good profits next week. If not, uh, thank you for your time. If you are new to this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, right? Make sure you give us a thumbs up so that this will help us reach more subscribers, okay? We also have a free day trading guide for you. So make sure you download that. The link is in the description, okay? If you need anything, you have any questions, any, uh, you know, any issues that you are struggling with, just leave a comment down below. Uh, we'll do our best to address them and uh, record videos uh, like this to address your question if it's, uh, you know, if it's a very important question. Okay, so thanks for your time. I'll see you in the next video.